welcome, subjects of funk, and welcome to the first part of my Sid Meier's Civilization 5 Let's Funking Play. Now, as I found a, a funk, Indian funk music on non copyright, I thought I would start by playing as a Gandhi for obvious reasons. Um, I always choose the Aterra map because it produces the most Earth-like uh, um, continents, which looks nice. Because I, I hate just, you know, two big blobs on the map. Uh, it's shit for continents. I'm going to choose a standard map size with eight players so I can actually get this finished. And as for difficulty, I was going to have it on uh, Emperor. But as I'm the king of funk, I thought I'd bang it on king. And another reason so I can finish the game, I thought I'd bang the game pace on standards because I usually religiously play every Civ 5 game on marathon uh, and a huge map size with lots and lots of players. But yeah, we'll just stick with this for now and I'll go ahead and start the game. And I will uh, cut out the loading screen for it so you don't have to endure it. Right then, welcome subjects of funk to our starting position. Um, shrewd diplomatic and it uh, gives the British a, a damn good hammering in that uh, opening statement there. I'd just like to make it clear that the Mughal Empire before the British arrived killed um, many a many a people and sacked the uh, capital Delhi around ten times in a century. Ooh, how's about those apples? Right. Okay, so as I can't see any ocean tiles in the vicinity, I think we'll go ahead and just settle in the spot that it's recommended. Because I used, to, I, I, I'm a very, I'm a big fan of having uh, an ocean tile next to your first city, but we'll just add time. We'll, we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait for that. And the classic, you can go and uh, explore. I have some information that may be of you. You probably have. But I will find my own path in this game Excuse of me. Sid Meier's Civilized Shut Up Tech Chooser. Um, right. So, we've got a lot of copper and it requires a mining. So hey, we'll start off by getting a mining. Tell you what, it's, it feels a, a lot different playing this on standard mode rather than um, playing it on marathon. It takes about 30 turns to build a, 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 um, a, a monument. It's only going to take us 6 more turns! But like I said, I really want to finish this game because most of the games I start on Marathon never get finished. Ooh, population boost. Oh, we found someone. Because you can see the borders there if you have a Uganda. It probably won't be Uganda. I just replaced the word Ganda with Uganda. Um, so they're going to be a rich nation. And they're going to bother us quite some. Mind you saying that, copper's worth the exact same. So let's see how... Uh, this plays out. So who who are we going to meet? Haha, <laughs> Shaka of Das Zulus. I am Shaka, ruler of the Zulu Kingdom. Why have you come? I've, he was a he was a bad bugger in their previous Civ games. Shaka. He's still a bad bugger now. I know he's going to give me hassle, but hey, the game's meant to be entertaining, isn't it? Barbarian camp. Usually I would take these down and gain some experience. But as we've only discovered a one um, s um, hidden one um, ruins, sorry. We'll give it a miss for now. Let him keep uh, 15 gold cut gold, and they share their knowledge of religious rituals, giving you four faith. That's good because um, we all know 
people who have played this before what an absolute nightmare it is um, what a nightmare it is to have to face Gandhi and he's ever expanding a religion that he ruins a many a game and he's anything but peaceful Hawafa of the Iraqis, pleating stranger. I am Hawafa, speaking of the, speaking for the Iraqis. We seek peace with all, but we do not shrink. We seek peace with all, but we do not shrink from war. So the way I was reading that then was completely different to the way it was intended to be. Mining. A butcher rest. You have met the city state of a butcher rest. They provide you with a gift of 15 gold coins. If you wish to speak with butcher rest again, you may click on their city. They are cultured, but they are irrational. Interesting. Pearls. Right. <clears throat> okay, as uh, we are playing the religious sieve, then I think we'll move uh, straight on to pottery. So we can get our uh, temples and shit on the go. And all that stuff, eh? Oh, looks like we're gonna have a coastline down here somewhere. I figured it would be like that. There's not much good land to settle with up here anyway. You know, I could stick a city around here somewhere so we have a defensive line. But that it's not a priority city. We'll have plenty of different um, spots to explore. And, uh Ooh, some gold. And a policy! Thank you. Increases the piety, uh, faith of empires. To build shrines and temples in half the usual time. Unblocks, um, unlocks great, unlocks buildings, the great mosque of a uh, j- I'll, uh, I'll leave that one be for now. Right, okay, so the question is, do I go for this? I do will try and get a couple of policies that would increase my culture instead so then I could get through that quicker because um, that is a good one that one doubles, essentially it's going to double my uh, culture we'll get tradition first some may say that was a silly, a stupid and silly move but we'll get um, piety second because if we're going to play this game, we might as well play uh, the civilization to its strengths. And as I am the king of funk, my subjects, all two of them, need to believe that God elected me. As is uh, with any monarchy, you are the representative. You are the representative of a God on Earth. <laughs> You would think these ideas would be uh, somewhat redundant in 2014. But in this country, it's still full of idiots that think the same. But that's a discussion for a completely different time. That doesn't have much to do with video games. Right, let's get a shrine built. Get some research on the go. Right. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's. I tell you what. I think the best thing to do when we, when it comes to calendar, we've got to get the old Stonehenge classic. Ooh, here we go. Boom, piety. Thank you very much. Get this religion on the go, start churning it out like a demon. So, I'm already being scouted out a new settlement spot. Um, let's have a Uganda here. We have uh, gold, fish, sheep, and copper, but we are surrounded by deserts and hills. But that might be a nice spot, you know. 
The only problem with that is building a road. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare and a bit time consuming. So that might be for a later city. I would like to see what's over here and down here, which we're going to find out, thanks to this chap. Scout. Yeah, don't worry about it, scientific advisor. Do not worry about it. Hmm. Ah, uh, too much forest or tundra at the bottom of the map as well. So we have discovered at our location. I suppose though, that's not really a bad thing because it would be shit to fight a war with enemies on both sides. Oh my god. This guy is a knobhead. He always messes with my sieve. And he's <clears throat> probably around here somewhere, isn't he? Sword in hell. Maybe not though, because uh, the Zulus have managed to get so far south. Alright, so pause. That spot's looking like a better spot every minute of the day. But for now, we'll build another warrior. Um, and while, while the warriors get built, <coughs> hopefully, more areas of the. Offerta non sarà valida per tanto tempo. Um, this player has zero gold per turn, not included in this deal. So he wants to give me one gold per turn if I accept the embassy. So it'll do it. I've done this before with uh, other civs who have decided to go for writing. They end up paying me. Cities like military oh dear. Can defend again. Okay. Sit down. Shit. Right, okay, so we got and copper and copper. And uh, that spot's looking nicer every time. Gold fish and oh no, this spot's now looking a bit more nicer. And we'll try and take this idiot down again. Damn it! Ah oh, damn it! I like this music, so I'm gonna adjust the volume on my mic, on my head headset, should I say? Antwerp. Fifteen gold pieces. Thank you very much. Hostile. But mercantile. <clears throat> I will sort that out first. Sit down. Um, let's get some trade on the go. Actually, might be a sound notion. There's Antwerp. Are they happy with me? Or this? Right. Okay. Let's forget all this. I love how <coughs> every Nvidia driver update really does increase the speed of this game. It's absolutely fantastic. Ah. Stonehenge, please. Alright. <clears throat> Delhi is about to expand. Oh dear <clears throat> me. Casimir, third, the great of Poland. Welcome, stranger. Goodbye. That's right, Delhi has grown. Let's just hope nobody else is building a Stonehenge. We can have a little look see around and sometimes you can see them trying to build certain wonders, wondrous things in this world. Antwerp. Right, so we're looking at putting a... Where would we need to put a city? Somewhere around here, wouldn't we? The best advantage, we need obviously against a river. One, two, three, four... We don't want to be building any more than four bits of road at this point if we want to link a city up. So I'm, I'm going to say around about there. 
surrounded by good defenses as well bang on the money so yeah I think we'll go there first and then up there because and the gold's a luxury in itself, a good one, but I think this one's more likely to get grabbed. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to come and put a settler down here straight away. Especially when there's gold there, there, sorry, as well. But this dies might be a, a main a focal point. Why don't you go and build a mine? Yeah, go on then. Why don't you go and build a mine? Go on, go and build a copper mine. Yes, that's what it's all about. Get our first uh, luxury resource. These early stages of the game are all about hitting the end uh, turn button frequently. Oh, sword in hell. Natural Wonderfell. <laughs> Suleiman. <clears throat> the Puce of the Ottomans. I thought it was Suleiman the Great. Great and stranger. I am Suleiman, leader of the Ottomans. I love these little cutscenes. It's it's a shame, obviously, they're not included in the online play, but you can see why they never. You know, well, loading that up would be a, a ball lake for the old a processor or Wi Fi or whatever, but also the person who's running their sieve, I suppose is themselves and not someone like Suleiman if you catch my drift. Um let's let's go for something. One culture from shrines, faith from tundra trials, tundra uh, tiles and forests. That's a forest. One faith for each copper, iron and salt research resource. Gain faith if you win the battle. Plus four faith from natural wonders. Plus two faith from quarries. Right, well let's have a think about this. Damn it. So I've got two qu so that's potentially four four um faith right there. But as, if I can put a seat around there, then there's potentially, if I can get that within the radius, and obviously that's going to expand and get that on that one, that's potentially four in itself as well. But at the same time, iron and salt aren't a million miles away, and I might get extra through that, so I think I'm going to become an Earth Mother. Yeah. Excellent. Look at that. That's producing five things. And the animal husbandry is almost ready, which means another thing I forgot to do was to cancel that and we'll take out that barb camp because it it's looking rather irritating right now. Archery please. Something's loading up here, yeah. Right. Shalom shalom shalom, accept that embassy. Antwerp really dislikes me right now. I have some information that may be of use. Our unit is within an enemy's zone of control. Hmm. Silver. Well, I'm not doing too bad so far. I don't see anybody else with a second city, but I'm pretty damn sure that what I've just said is very inaccurate. Oh, sod in hell. We have failed. That's on it. Yeah, well, that'll be about right, wouldn't it? As long as I get Stonehenge, all shall be good. That's going to be a major heal. A double ambush. Oh. Uh, I'll just leave it. I'll leave it for now. 
Uh, we'll leave Sterling as well. We'll get right and everybody else seems to friggin' have it. We won't meet somebody. <laughs> Pedro the second, the Puce of Brazil. Right, so these titles, the Puce, obviously means that, uh, well it reflects their playing style. Um, right, I've never actually went against Pedro yet on this um, DLC, this is the first time I've seen him. And that is fantastic, he looks brilliant. Cool. Venice announces to the world that is now project protecting a Geneva. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, 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 uh. Well, let's go for that one. Hopefully, we can batter it into submission. It really is a waiting game. Yeah, okay. Sounds a good. Don't move. Um, unit promotion, and we will go for rough terrain because we're mainly surrounded by that. Cancel that uh, thing, and hopefully, we can get in there and take that out. I don't think we're going to get any more ruins. Oh, meeting somebody else. Wow. They really do act, add an extra atmosphere to the game, these cutscenes. Could look at some of these old uh, So we've pretty much discovered all of the uh, sieves so far. And it hit oh well that would be correct, wouldn't it? Hope he moves out the go on the next turn. Moves out the way, sorry, in the next turn. Right, Delhi is about to level up. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm just looking down here to see if there's any more. No, I think we've discovered everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is what we're dealing with. Bloody hell, a waffle. There's a, a fair amount of uh, points there. But don't you worry, I'll make sure we win this game. Push comes to shove. I'll have to do it through domination. <gasps> Somebody's had their um oh, stop it. Shit. I wanna try and steal that. I don't think I think when you <coughs> take a settler away from a uh, barbarian unless it was originally our settler I think it turns into a worker if I remember correctly look at that that's now doing me proud get us some extra gold from these yeah no He got it back. He who destroys a rough plays. A bump, bump, bump. Explore. Tell you what, you can't half get yourself wound up on this game when um, well, I'm just looking for uh, something that's gonna benefit my religion. Yeah, you can get yourself wound up on this game when um, you feel like everything's against you. That's the look of your starting position. And by everything's against you, I'm talking. Um, when you're surrounded by friggin' barbarians, when you when you when you when you're playing a marathon mode, 
and your first barbarian, oh, your first worker gets taken by a barbarian. You just feel like giving up on the spot. Bloody hell! Right then. <laughs> oh, we're producing a fair amount of uh, faith. Bump. Yeah, this is the end of our fellas here, I imagine. Oh. Excellent, I might get away from this. Um, uh, temples increase the city's gold output by 25%. Holy sites provide plus free gold. Religious tolerance, cities with the majority religion also get the Pantheon Belief bonus on the second most popular religion. Um, that'll be alright for now. I think for now we should go with Theocracy. As we might get an extra gold piece when we get a temple in there. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Right, what I'm going to do here is kill that with my Indian warrior. Sit down. Heal. Oh, I'm just itching for that Stonehenge not to be built by somebody else. But you never know. Delhi demands a Wales. Right then. Give me that Stonehenge. We have no combat units defending our territory. Don't you worry about that, sir. Ah, uh, these were introduced in the uh, expansion, if I remember correctly. An interesting unit. Adds a bit of diversity to the old barbs. Um, we'll have to build an archer. If we're going to be religious, let's keep it religious. Um, they want copper. No. How's about this? I'd much rather have myself a luxury resource. Um, because I've got a spare copper now, haven't I? Oi, coppers! Stop! In the name of the law! Religion founded by some knobsack. What religion? Islam. So it looks like we're going to have a bit of a religious battle on our hands, but don't you worry. I reckon that's just because he got lucky um, and uncovered a temple that... Oh, I'm going to lose all my damn troops. I don't like shiny things as much as other people. Right. Okay. Let's get out of town. Boots get some boots. <sighs> the wheel. It's about time we got that. Um Right. I think what we'll do is, is get a another archer and then after that get a settler. And we'll build that um we'll build that um all important second city. Iron there as well, Jeremy Irons. Very important. Very important for what the hell? 
very important for my not just my military but I get an extra um, faith point for that so don't you worry I'll pick up that iron I'm thinking maybe that might might be a good area no no we'll put it there we'll put I was gonna say could put the city there get all that in one turn we'll do is that to expand out one and two nah in fact once we built the settler though the um the computer the AI or whatever will offer us a preferred spot bloody hell what's going on here like all my troops are out of action healing oh nice one um settler please a unit needs orders Delhi is one nice city nice one fellas They won't stop coming. And look, right, okay, all done. What we will do is we'll move to there. Explore, please. And choose another research. Let's have a let's have a Uganda the technology tree. And we can see where we can go for the um the religious buildings. I've, I've never really played a proper religious game on this before. Sometimes it's happened by accident. So we're looking at philosophy. Um and then theology before we can get it. Oh no wait on. We can go for philosophy now and get a temple. So, why don't we go right ahead and do that? The Oracle's always a good one to have as well. What the hell? Who the hell was that? <gasps> He's going to produce a lot of problems for me. This is just about right. We still haven't founded a religion yet. What the fuck? How can they have more religious... Ugh. This is BS. Yeah, go away. Come on, see them off. See them off. Good. Dropped like a sack of shit. Right. Turn 58. Let's continue on our road for a new city. Right. Okay, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to destroy this barbarian, pound him into the earth, and then, so hopefully in five turns, we'll get our settler and we will move it towards this area and before we found it I think I will call it a day on this part of uh, Sidmia's Civilization 5 a Gandhi playthrough we're not going to do things peacefully by the way oh no what the monkey's uncle that would happen wouldn't it as soon as I was about to destroy that encampment, had to spawn another barbarian brute. 
And he's a brute as well. He's been evil to me. Been nasty to me. Sit down! 25 gold coins. It's always a help. Because that's 50 gold coins I've earned from uh, Sean Barbs, who is boss in this region. Right, so. What the hell? Oh, look how many cotton he's got as well. What's he building there? The Temple of Boots and Cats. Right, so we'll stick a city there and. Um, and then we will hopefully eventually get to that and we'll have a little line across the thing. It's not much good land around here really for me. Not that I can see worthwhile. Bloody hell, that's a lot of troops. <sighs> right, okay, so we're gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna make the next video a bit more military focused, it would seem. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so... Okay, it's telling me this is a good spot. And to be honest, I believe it. I do believe it, actually. Don't know why I thought to put it there. But we'll put it there. Move that guy there. And we will build some... More archers. Archers are the dog's balls, by the way. They really are your saviour. Saviour. Ten happiness, you can't argue with that. You met her. Uh. Uh. Right then. As we are at um, in turn 65, I think we'll call it a day for this episode of The King of Funk Let's Play Sydney's Civilization 5 Gandhi Edition. <laughs>